Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha. Welcome to Understand China on Think Tech Hawaii. I'm your host, Xiaofang Joe Norris. Our show today is called Art and Artists in China Today. And we're going to talk about a Beijing gallery owner and a Hawaii art gallery owner and talk about a new exhibit in Haleiwa. This program answers the following questions and more. What is the artist's connection in the perception of individual artists between America and China? How do American and international collectors view quality art? What are the parallels and the differences in their aesthetics? What can American learn about the inner Chinese experience from the art produced by their best young people? And how can they put that knowledge to use in business and the daily lives? I'd like to welcome our guest today, George Atkins. Long time no see. Welcome <laughs> to our you, show. Huh? How we must have met 20 years, almost at least 20 years ago. At least. And how are you doing? Uh, I'm, well, I, my life is an art gallery, so, and I live in Hawaii, so. Yes, <laughs> yes. Any other questions? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So, um, I, as I know, you're, you know, you've been running art gallery for over 20 something years. Mm -hmm. And uh, can you uh, talk about a little bit about your art gallery? Sure. And um, so, Holly Eva Art Gallery, uh, I founded it 22 years ago. Mm -hmm. and. <clears throat> with uh, two mission statements. One was uh, to show Hawaii-based fine artists in original works, yeah. and the other was diversity, mm -hmm. so that everyone who walks into the gallery can find something that touches them inside. Mm. Uh, art is the visual expression of the human experience. No two humans have the same experience, so yes. diversity you know, is art. Yeah. Um, and we... <clears throat> So we were chosen uh, and honored uh, to uh, host this selection from the wonderful Chinese artists mm. uh, because of our focus on uh, real art, uh, fine arts, mm. and also our um, indelible connection to Asia and Amer the Americas. Mm -hmm. uh, our artists are almost split uh, from Asia and America in terms of their cultural heritage, right. and that comes through in their work. Yeah. Um, so that was one of the reasons that I think that I believe Harley Art Gallery was chosen to host the Benevolence Collection, mm. uh, which came from um, the United Nations uh, International okay. Peace Day on September 21st. That's right. So it's a great honor for our gallery to host this collection. Mm -hmm. um, and to show the diversity of artists in China right. and you know how they all came together to present these works uh, in their own way. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, amazing when I walk into your art gallery, it's, you have a glass work, you have uh, you know, the Vietnam, the silk bordering is so beautiful and the local artists and there's, it's like a little, itself is like a little United, United Nation, right? So um, talk about a little bit about the, uh, the recent, you know, um, the collections you have, mm -hmm. you know, the art pieces from the... Um, but, but so, the, so the collection, the Benevolence Collection, mm -hmm is uh, 23 uh, pieces of art from uh, six artists uh, <clears throat> who mostly came together in Beijing mm -hmm. under the uh, tutelage and uh, great guidance of uh, um, uh, uh, of Ms. Chow. And she <clears throat> herded the cats and got, and so they had the message of international peace and the hope for it. Mm -hmm. And so all of these artists came together and mm -hmm. produced this incredible collection of diversity of feeling about um, what what the war had brought, uh, what is happening after the peacefulness uh, yeah. that comes with uh, with a peaceful world, the prayers for peace, um, and so they they each 
drew from their own spirit and their own soul to create this collection from how they felt about uh, the hope for world peace. Yeah. So uh, it's a very appealing that when we show at the United Nations, it will draw a lot of uh, attention. And uh, it's a very emotional, actually. Um, and uh, for, we're going to take a short break. And uh, we're going to bring our Chinese, uh, you know, the great uh, lady behind all of these artworks. And uh, I, I really like to, uh, you know, for people to understand how this all come together. You know, you're from Hawaii, local guy, and running art gallery for over 22 years. And uh, we have a Chinese that never been to Hawaii. Uh, and, and all these artists, when they first got here, they feel, of course, the warmth of, of aloha. And as uh, um, an artist, you know, they see Americans through the, uh, the art and through the best of the best of American. Because arts, I think, is a universal. Right? You don't need the language to... Uh, Transcends politics and nations. Yes. Okay, so um, I'll, let's take a break and uh, we'll get back. Aloha. Aloha and mabuhai. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson, inviting you to join us every Tuesday here on Pinoy Power Hawaii with Think Tech Hawaii. We come to your home at 12 noon every Tuesday. We invite you to uh, listen, watch, uh, for our mission of empowerment, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and we hope to empower. Again, maraming salamat po, mabuhay, and aloha. Hey, aloha. My name is Andrew Lanning. I'm the host of Security Matters Hawaii, airing every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii, live from the studios. I'll bring you guests. I'll bring you information about the things in security that matter to keeping you safe, your coworkers safe, your family safe, to keep our community safe. Uh, we want to teach you about those things in our industry that you know may be a little outside of your experience. So please join me because security matters. Aloha. Welcome back. And you are at the ThinkTech Hawaii Understanding China show. So um, I'd like to bring our next guest from China, and her name is uh, Gao Chao. She owns an art gallery called Benevolent. I never answered. Uh, so let's, uh, uh, is Gao Chao on the line? Can you hear us? Hello, Gao Chao. You yes, show. clearly. Aloha. Hello, aloha, everyone. Yeah, welcome to the Think Tech show. Um, you know, you were just here a few weeks ago, and uh, we did the show at the United Nations. You brought all the young artists from China, and uh, we had another show in Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, tell, tell us about a little bit about your background and the UR gallery. Thank you so much, Ruby. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank both you uh, and your husband Michael, and uh, as well, uh, and thank thank you for everything you have done for us for our delegation, and also thank you so much for introducing us uh, to the uh, dear George, Mr. Dear Atkin, and for helping us in introduce our artist uh, work to to his gallery. Thank you so much. Yeah, and myself, I was in the I was involved in international uh, relation business mm. for more than thirty five years, and uh, uh, this uh, this is first time for me to to raise a uh, to raise a private business uh, art mm. gallery for myself after I decided to uh, quit my uh, career uh, professional career uh, mm. uh, as a as a you know, consultant right. to this, um, as a consultant to this international relationship. And it was uh, my greatest honor to deal with those artists. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, first of all, my my first passion of getting involved is business so simple because uh, my husband was one of these artists. Mm -hmm. so it's uh, for a simple reason. And then I think 
I'm I'm getting I'm coming to be indulged myself、mm-hmm. into this、uh, such a wonderful business which can bond、uh, the people、right. uh, from the different back background、mm-hmm. and、uh, from different part of the world together in、uh, one simple、uh, purpose of. Beaut,、uh, of beauty, the beauty of our life, and beauty of every single piece、uh, on this globe. So、uh, I think we are going. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your introduction.、Um, well, George, our dear friend, is right here. And why don't you two talk about the pieces?、Um, you know, we have a special、uh, two pieces of we brought to the studio. And、uh, you know George and、uh, Gao Chao. Maybe you guys、uh, talk a little bit about、uh, how do you feel, why this is so important to you, and、uh, what does that means, you know, for your own interpretation of the artwork. <laughs> Say hello to Gao Chao. Aloha, Gao Chao. <laughs> Aloha. So nice to speak with you again. And、uh, thank you for bringing yeah, for bringing your wonderful artists,、uh, all of whom we had time to sit and talk with about their art and get deeply into the pieces. And、uh, it was such an amazing pleasure to meet you and all of the artists, and and have this great honor you've given us to、uh, host this collection. Thank you. It also、uh, is our greatest honor to get to know you people and get to know you、uh, gallery. And it was、uh, such amazing、uh, and a wonderful experience、mm. uh, for all of us this last time. I mean, three weeks ago. Thank you. So we really connected with the、uh, arts. You know, you from America, and Gao Chao is from China.、Um, talk about the、uh, um, the pieces for the love. Yeah. So the, the two pieces we could bring recently... up the two images.、Oh, yes. Yeah. So quiet night after the war <clears throat> is just a beautiful piece.、Um, the artist actually told me that I asked him for his inspiration on the piece, and he said I dreamt this piece,、mm. which is somewhat typical for artists, not necessarily in their sleep, but the feeling just comes out from them, which is them. The best part of an artist is when they paint from their spirit and their soul. So this piece,、um, <clears throat> uh, which is called "A Quiet Night After the War,"、uh, depicts in the foreground, of course, after the war, the new birth, and、uh, looking forward to、uh, a life without war.、Mm-hmm. And the stork, of course, bringing the new baby. So the foreground, but the stork you can see has been wounded by the war,、mm. and then, but still wants peace and brings it to the world. And then in the background of the piece, we're seeing、uh, a, a village, beautiful village, and way off in the distance we can maybe see some still vestiges of the war in the orange haze behind the mountain.、Uh, and then the house upside down, he explained to me, is. The disruption of families in the war,、mm. and it's just a beautiful piece and very well done in composition and artistic quality.、Mm. So Gao Chao,、um, can you、uh, share with us your view on this special painting, "The Quiet Night"? Yes, and the artist himself, Mr. Wu,、mm. and、uh, he was、uh, born in the in the year of 1990, so he was. Totally、uh, a young young artist, and、uh, he just finished his uh, uh, his education、uh, from the university. And、uh, actually, he was a farmer's son,、oh. and he raised buffaloes and raised goose、mm-hmm. while he was、uh, after everyday school.、Mm-hmm. And he finished high、uh, high、uh, high school education, get、uh, get through this university. And you know, in China, in in the year. Uh, each year, uh, uh, as art art student of finishing high school education, and the, the、uh, percentage to get to the university to get higher ed- education of art is、uh, pretty low, about only、uh, only about twenty percent of those、mm. uh, art student could be able to get to get a higher education. 
So obviously, this uh, young artist, he's talented, and uh, he was uh, selected actually from over eighty eighty uh, young artists that we our gallery mm. um, assigned contract with. And uh, when he was uh, finished uh, finishing this uh, piece of work, actually, I was face to face talking with him about his idea. And he were, he didn't realize that a crane, um, there was an old thing, he uh, was old thing as well in the Far East and the Middle East. And uh, there was a similar thing that a mother crane can bring the baby to the world. Mm -hmm. And the artist, artist to choose this crane is only because he raised the crane when he was about a teenager. Mm -hmm. at his uh, uh, father's uh, rice field, water rice field. And then the crane, after the wound was, uh, it's a wounded, uh, it's a wound, wo wounded crane. Mm -hmm. And he raised it him for like two months and uh, he let it, just let it go. Mm -hmm. He had a, a very dear, dark, a dear feeling about the crane. And the one I was talking, I told him that was a similar saying that a crane bring a baby to the world and he was so shocked mm -hmm. and then he told me that okay the, i'm going to get to know i'm going to learn more about this crane about this uh, international uh, history stuff when i was in the in the long term uh, on the way when i when I'm pursuing my business career, this is such a ama amazing knowledge that you let me know. Yeah. And another amazing. point of this painting, which uh, which gave me a hot, uh, very strong feeling, is about the moon. Mm. The moon in the background, mm -hmm. actually not like a, a full moon in China, is mm. always uh, a symbol of uh, unification a unified of a family. Mm. Uh, re, uh, actually, it's a kind of a good sign. So we always celebrate a full moon, a moon festival, right. uh, when the family is gathering. So to this young artist, this painting, it's really meaningful. A wounded city, mm. a city sign behind a crane, it, it might be a town, it, it is, might be a town that just finished the war, or it was only a town, it was only a one night, five night during the war. Right. And uh, a crane was always a symbol, and a baby was o always a symbol mm -hmm. uh, of a peaceful and a quiet uh, future. And Thank the you. baby always brings us the future. Thank, Thank you, you. Gaochao. That's a beautiful. Um, so we understand the, the painting uh, behind it, the feelings and the emotional, the meanings. Um, I'd like to talk about the next painting, uh, The Brick Wall. Uh, when I first saw this one, I, I, didn't, I thought it was a global, as a, as a map. But when you look at it closer, you see the little people are painting, painting the wall. And uh, there's so many bricks, and the painting above the bricks. So, George, I'd like to ask you, what's your first impression on that painting? <clears throat> so, certainly a timely piece <laughs> uh, <yes. laughs> in the world today. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, it was immediately clear to me that uh, the, the painter was trying to express mm. this feeling that if the world is open and um, <clears throat> not have any kind of barriers, right. that that is the most peaceful feeling that everyone in the world could have. And so they were, they couldn't stand the wall separating all of us, walls of, mental walls as well as mm -hmm. physical walls right. and, you know, government walls. And so he was trying to say, Give us the whole world, open the whole world, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, it's just it's just a very meaningful and heartfelt mm -hmm. piece, and the work that went into it is artistically mm -hmm. perfect. 
and just a quick aside, I had a gentleman in the in the gallery the other day from Ghana, mm -hmm. and he said, oh, the guy, he's painting Ghana, that's where I'm uh, from. Yes. <laughs> he was thrilled. He's painting the world. It's, I love that, Bring what you're saying. Bring the world. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. So I'd like to ask Gao Chao about this painting. Uh, what is really behind the artist, the view, their, their feelings, and how you interpret it? Okay, this artist's uh, name is Mo, Mr. Mo Zhenglong. Yeah. Mr. Mo was born in the year of 1970s. Mm -hmm. So he's, uh, he's, uh, he's about 40 years old. Mm -hmm. And his background in his earlier uh, career, uh, uh, it, he was a journalist, he was a reporter, and he was an editor mm -hmm. uh, working with uh, CCTV. And then he quit his uh, job back, get back to his original, uh, original major of this oil painting. And he's uh, pretty knowledgeable. He's interested in history, um, and uh, he's very knowledgeable with uh, lit, uh, well, those liberal arts. And uh, when he was create this uh, painting, he he paint the wall first. Mm. And uh, as he described, he was uh, he was pretty shocked when he was a, teen a teenager that this Eastern Berlin Wall, mm. uh, Berlin Wall, was knocked down, right. and uh, and uh, then he had this world map painted on, and he what he wants is to uh, either paint. Uh, to cover, use the paint to cover the wall, mm. or either to break the wall, mm. a wall between east and west, mm -hmm. a wall between those different tribes that, uh, that uh, which don't understand each other, mm -hmm. and break, uh, to knock down all those uh, conflicts. And uh, he, to express his strong feeling mm -hmm. of his understanding of what, what peace is. Yeah, you know, George, this is a so it's such an emotional piece. You know, I think this is a make you thinking the war, the time from our ancestor, what they've been through, and when we were born in the the generation, uh, you probably went through or see the war, or at least our parents. So um, it, it is emotional and, and timeless, uh, timeless yes, piece. Yes. And when you see that, the people, you know, craving peace and uh, uh, carry that uh, burden, you know, as a war, when we were, you know, Berlin War is there uh, when we were born, right? So now is a time for the unity and people get together. Um, this is a beautiful. Um, I like to. Um, you know, I know in recent congratulations you sold two pieces. We did sell two pieces. Yeah, I'd like to, um, you know, talk about the two pieces you sold. The first one we, uh, is titled Love. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> so the first piece, uh, which is almost a keystone piece to the collection, <laughs> if yeah. there's such a thing, um, and it uh, depicts uh, a soldier mm -hmm. uh, walking along uh, on his patrol and a Muslim woman walking the other way, uh, paying no attention to him, or trying not to pay attention. Right. And he's looking a little bit sideways at her. And, and so it, it starts out evoking this feeling of uh, you know, disparity uh, that we see in the world so much today. But then, as your eyes gaze to the left, you start to realize there's a shadow on the wall. Mm -hmm. And it shows the two of them almost in a love embrace. Mm -hmm. And my, the message to me that I felt from the piece was that when light shines through humanity, mm -hmm. it throws a shadow of love. Mm -hmm. and, and the dog gets it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's just an, an amazing piece. And the people who who acquired it was a very young couple, very knowledgeable in art, but just starting out in life. And they fell so much in love with this piece, they were literally dancing around the gallery when they realized they oh. could acquire this piece. Oh, so great. That's, a, that's beautiful. Um, I know this artist uh, um, from is Gao Chao's uh, beloved husband, yes. and the same uh, painting, The Break the Wall. 
So uh, his name is Mo Zheng Long, a young gentleman. And it's amazing when we did exhibition at UN, people drawn in that painting and love it. I love it. So I'm so happy. Congratulations. And a congratulations to Gao Chao and then her husband. And so tell about the, um, the uh, next. So the other the piece um, called, called Peaceful Hu Tong mm -hmm. uh, is a wonderful, quiet uh, little back a street in uh, Beijing. Mm -hmm. And it, so, <clears throat> and, and that's, you know, one of the many messages in this collection uh, was just something to give you a peaceful feeling. And the piece certainly does that. It's, mm -hmm. uh, you just want to walk down that alley and <laughs> forget about everything. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the other couple who bought that were uh, farther along in life, had traveled all over the world. Yeah. And they relayed to me that what it meant to them was whenever they were in a big city, whether it was Beijing or, mm -hmm. or any big city, they always tried to get away from everything and find one of these perfect, quiet little back streets. Mm -hmm. And it would just make everything melt away to them. Mm -hmm. And that just drew them. And as I said before, art is the visual expression of the human experience. So mm -hmm. that's the experience they saw in this piece, and that's what they really wanted. And they just acquired it and then sent me pictures of it after it's hung on the wall. They're, they're so Both of the, the couples who acquired these two pieces are so proud of them uh, and will be for the rest of their lives. Yeah. And I really want to connect uh, and bring Gao Chao to the, uh, uh, about this uh, Beijing Hutong. You know, um, I'm from Beijing, so I seen them all the time. But you're passing by, and you don't really, you know, have that connection because you live there. Um, but now China is uh, growing, and is this scene is it's very rare. They still exist, but you don't really see, especially for Westerners, if you don't research or if you don't wandering around and uh, ride a bicycle to go to that small hotel, you don't see them anymore. So, um, Gao Chao, I know this is another wonderful piece from your husband, Mo Zheng Long. Can you um, just uh, tell us the, uh, the story? How did he get up, you know, uh, had the idea to paint the hotel? Yeah, okay, uh, my pleasure. And I still remember the moment that he we walked to this side, mm. and he he said, "Stop! I might to take a photo, uh, and then it will be a great uh, picture, and it will be a great painting." He, he just erased the sentence suddenly after we finished a wonderful Beijing Road dinner, and which is like. To 200 meters away from this old home. It was a crowded street, a famous Chinese restaurant street walk, which is in a single mile, one mile distance. There are more than 200 different restaurants in mm -hmm. different flavors. It was so crowded mm -hmm. and they even caused heavy traffic each night. And the, we turned, we finished the dinner and the turned around, and the, right away we came to this quiet and peaceful. Uh, Hutong area, and the area is only about 15 minutes uh, driving distance away from the downtown uh, Tiananmen Square. Yeah, and it was also a place that uh, Gao uh, Chao. Our family. time is uh, uh, so sorry. The time goes really fast, and I have to um, wrap it up. And uh, thank you both so much to share with us today, and. Uh, Thank you again, Gao Chao, to bring a piece of uh, uh, Beijing and the history to America. And uh, I like to really, I hope we could find another time to have a longer uh, chat on this, on this arts and, uh, and, you know, the histories so we can bring people together through arts with better and deeper understanding. And I think we are talking about the same, uh, same, same story, it, regardless of where you're from, China or America, home, family, peace, and uh, you know, love, it is where, where in our heart. 
So thank you both again for the show. Um, thank you. Thank you. Hope this to is, see you and meet you guys again. Yes, Thanks, I'm looking forward to, uh, to meet you in uh, either Beijing or Honolulu back to Hawaii. And thank you, everyone, to uh, come to our show. My name is Xiaofang Zhou Norris, and at Think Tag Hawaii. Aloha.